There have been 13 fatalities since 2003. This is California CHP Switters data. Notice none are on Pershing and none are on Jefferson. They're all Vista Del Mar and they're all Culver. And I can tell you that 13, uh, excuse me, 50% of these deaths, alcohol was a factor. Alcohol to the point of impairment, that's CHP data. Uh, five of the non-alcohol deaths involved jaywalking pedestrians all at night, all after 11 p.m. Three of those five were after midnight. Uh, one at night uh, was in 2003, there was a broken street light. The street light at Colvin Vista Del Mar was broken. There was no traffic light there because it was blown out by a transformer. It had been out for three days. There was no crosswalk. He was killed in the street crossing at 7 o'clock at night. And one driver was killed speeding. They hit a fixed object on Culver Boulevard. Please tell me how a lane reduction would have saved these lives. They would not. I am for safety. I want to save lives. A lane reduction is putting people at risk. I guarantee you, this guy right here in this flip car, this guy's not happy about the lane reductions. He was hit by an illegal U-turn. That's what the person who took the picture told me. I want to talk about Vision Zero data. Sports gave us some great statistics. 140% increase in collisions between bikes and right-turning vehicles. 48% increase in collisions between bike lanes and left-turning vehicles. That comes from Vision Zero Los Angeles Literature Review list of safety countermeasures. I highly recommend you look it up. That was a study of 300 road diets in New York. Give me more time. Thank you very much. Yeah.